Hello, hello everybody. We are continuing our Pokemon Emerald playthrough. Last time we managed to beat Norman, our father, in this game relatively easily, all things considered, because evasion and uh, loafing around were on our side. And otherwise, we mostly just uh, cleared out a bunch of trainers down here because we could surf. We did something for Watson about turning off a generator for some reason. I didn't quite understand that. Then we went around here. We couldn't go all the way, so now we came up this way, where I do believe Team Aqua is being a bunch of bitches. So we're gonna shut them down if at all possible. Let's quickly see who is in front. It's been a bit since I played because leaf. But yeah, we're gonna have Zoom in the front still. Let's see. Why is there a child here? Or are you a ninja? While I was sleeping, everyone went upstairs. And we have access to a PC. Interesting. Wait, does that mean that we can take a sleep? We can. Interesting. Didn't really expect that. And this is just, I guess, you'd think there would be something at the hall end of the hallway. Hello, Team Aqua Grunt. Huh? What's a kid doing here? Kid's gonna kick your ass. And, and uh, Maxie's gonna be like, whose side are you on, Neon? Uh, the world. Against you. More rough skin, that's going to be annoying, but we shall smack him. Also, that is kind of nice that they put a bed there, because the last Pokemon Center is a decent ways away. Huh, I lost? You have one Pokemon! Is it really that surprising? Oh no, I'll catch an earful for losing to a kid. I should just take a nap in the bed. <laughs> okay, that's kind of neat that there is an extra hint, just like hint hint. Uh, player, there is a bed you can rest in. The boss got interested in the research they have going here, so he sent us out. You quit meddling. How about you quit meddling in weather? Apparently. Got two Pokemon. You are a fool either way. Oh no, not a Zubat. I don't think it's going to have good uh, experience for me. Eh, not bad, but... We'll do Annihilate Your Poochiana too. Be gone, fool. You think you are good? You are not. It didn't even level up my zoom. You fool. Blast it! Blast it by a kid! Eh, no, that's Team Rocket. They're the ones that get blasted off all the time. You just lost. Our boss knows everything, but I'm just a grunt. What would I know what he's thinking? I don't know. Maybe you're his favorite grunt. That's always possible. Kind of bothered that the computer is offset so I can't walk up to it just directly. All right, a double battle. Who should be... We'll have uh, Night Fang in second. Double battle time. The Institute created a type of Pokemon that has something to do with the weather. We're here to take them. Is that where cast form comes from? Don't tell me you're looking for that weather Pokemon too. That's a no-no. We're here to get it first. But yeah, is this where cast form comes from? Another human-made Pokemon. That would be interesting. And just two each. I guess technically better since they're fighting in a fighting together, but still. Now, which one? I think the Zubat needs to go first because it could potentially have a confusion move, like Supersonic. We'll annihilate the Zubat. If it goes down, the tackle will go to the next Pokemon, which will just serve to clear out the enemies. Congratulations, Zoom! And now there's two of them. Oh no, not the evasion that will never go up on that one. And we'll tackle the other one, get it out of the way. Well, I like the 
This is the first time I think I've noticed, but... The grunt fight music is pretty good. It's a bop. Oh no, not the bastard. Why are they all level 27? I mean, all, most of my Pokemon are level 33, but still. You know what would be, like, a um, kind of terrifying concept? If enemy trainers' Pokemon could level up. Like, if they beat one of your Pokemon, suddenly they level up. Sure, it wouldn't be much, but I think it would be an interesting thing. It would be interesting, at the very least. Our plan's being spoiled by a kid?! Oh, will you look at my Pokemon? Like, you care about your Pokemon and you want me to heal them for you? Is that what you're asking? You lunatic? And then we'll have Striker be second for any potential out-of-nowhere double battles. We're Team Aqua! We appear wherever anything rare is found! Like the mysterious three-titted woman. Would you be there too? Ah, you have three. Good for you. Why just... Why were you there with anybody else to help them double-team me? You are an odd man. Just sitting at a computer with three Pokemon. No! Now the experience will be split up. I forget. Dark-type. Is dark... Good against Psychic, I think. Maybe we could try it anyway. That's what I figured. It's been a million years. Not really. For some reason, I'm just very bad when it comes to the... Like, uh... Oh, meh. Again, for some reason, my brain wants to, like, select it and then move it away. It's because I'm playing Legends Arceus. And that's how I do it there. Don't roar again. Don't you dare. But yeah, for some reason my brain is just not good when it comes to the type chart. I need like a post-it note cheat sheet pasted to my monitor. Eh, we can send out Striker. For the lulls, I suppose. Annihilate that Zubat. Annihilate it now with Thunderbolt. <laughs> You'd think these moves would, like, absolutely destroy this building. I don't think... Yeah, because it's a dark water type. Annihilate this fool for standing in our way. Be gone! You got me! Why do you say it like that? You don't have any idea what we Team Aqua are working towards. You stay out of our way. I wonder what happened if I, like, walked directly into the upcoming Grunt's line of sight. Like, if I went around. Like, would it make it so that I couldn't progress? <laughs> Oh no, I need to walk up to her anyway. Ha 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 ha! You're gonna meddle in Team Aqua's affairs? You're either absolutely fearless, simply ignorant, or both! You're so cute, you're disgusting! I'll put you down, kitty! You are disturbing. And I will annihilate your very soul. Ah! An Admin Shelley. Who has, like, no different than the last grunt that we fought. Like, congratulations, it's two more levels, but you have one less Pokemon. You'd think that an admin would have a full team. Goodbye, Carnaba, Carvana. And a Mighty Ena. Ah, we'll, we'll destroy your Mighty Ena. No, not intimidate. B -b Blast it away. Ah, you survived! Why does Swagger cause confusion, but... That's kind of weird. 
break through confusion and kill. Good. Take that, you fool. You meringue. Level up. Huzzah. <laughs> You're disgustingly strong. And you are odd. It's bad enough to have Team Magma blunder about, but now there's you. What makes you want to sniff around in our business anyway? He just shoves us aside. We have a situation here. A Team Magma mob just passed the Weather Institute. They appear to be headed for Mount Pyre. What? We can't waste any more time here. We have to hurry to Mount Pyre, too. <laughs> Team Magma, just you wait. And that's... They are odd. Thanks. Thanks to you, we're safe. It might be an odd way of thinking you, but take this Pokemon. Yep, cast form. Interesting. Sure. You know that Pokemon that they were, like, coming to destroy us over? Why don't you have it? Ah, we have, oddly enough, the perfect amount of letters. You shall be called Weatherman. It was placed in box one. That Pokemon changes shape according to the weather conditions. There are plenty of them in the Institute. Go ahead and take it. I can't even talk to the others. I've been researching rain for many years, but it's ridiculous to think that humans can freely change the weather. We can change the weather now, can we? I guess... Well, no, you'd think that, like, a, a weather institute would just be a normal thing. A place where they learn about the weather. Or they analyze the weather. But now the weather institute is all about controlling the weather. Hello, child. Wow, you're really strong. I wish I could be a Pokemon trainer like you. You have the same sprite as the ninja. Why don't you go become one? Become a ninja. Assassinate some people. Go back in time and learn from Benny. And now it's raining the hell. Well, hey. I found an elixir. And, huh, the rain is just happening forever. Don't fight me now. Neon, so this is where you've been looking for Pokemon. Let me see how good you get. I'll test you. It's a battle, so battle. I was trying to stop some terrorists, but fine, Brendan. You still don't have a full team! I will annihilate you. Of course, you're gonna take advantage of that, won't you? You caused it to rain, didn't you, you little bastard? Bite it. Wow, why do you go first? And why use protect? I don't really understand the purpose of protect. Unless you're, like, it's a mind game thing. You use protect to try and, like, bait out, like, a strong move. Like, uh, what is it? Like, uh, overheat. Or at least I think it was overheat. That move that Flannery just annihilated me with. Because she gave it to every single one of her Pokemon. Then again, po Protect could also be used to, like, stall out an enemy if they're having, like, a toxic poison effect on them. Are you gonna fight me or are you just gonna keep being a bitch? Die! Die! Like, after the second Protect, I probably should have tried to use Howl. Once again, just love the trainer, like, the, the rival music, though. It's very good. That's some good experience. You're gonna use Combuskin? Who do we have that's good against Combuskin? I don't think we have anybody. I forget. Is... Bird versus Bird, I forget. Does, like, uh, air attacks? We, but... What kind of typing are you, air? You still haven't... Well, oh well, I guess I can't really... For some reason, my brain thought... Wait, uh, flying type, that's it, not air. This isn't the airbender. For some reason, my brain uh, went the route of thinking that Grovile was the final evolution for some reason. I just forget that Sceptile exists. Every single major thing that I've seen... Trico and Grow Violin never go to Sceptile all that much. Either that or I missed it. Won't you gonna send out Lombre? 
Well, I'll keep Nickel out to destroy you. Your little monster looks like a monster, and he's gonna die. Kill him! How dare you try to fake me out? How dare you make me flinch? Now you will be annihilated for all the water to see in the sky. Uh, you've gone pretty darn decent. I have beaten you every time we have fought. I'd say you're good enough to search for Pokemon anywhere. Here, I'll give you this to try it out. Fly, I assume? Is that fly? Use fly and your Pokemon instantly carries you to any town you've already visited. But you need the four, four tree gym badge to do that. Anyway, I have to move along. Why are you a psychopath? Why are you a psychopath? And why do you look like a monster with the, like the glint of your sunglasses? <laughs> Way to go, Neon. I just passed by a trainer riding a bike. You just beat that trainer, didn't you? It was pretty obvious that you did. The kid looked really upset with a face all red from anger. Why is he so upset? Why are you so mad? It's only a game. I'm sure you can... I sure seem to run into you often. Are you off to Fortree Gym next? I expect that you'll do well at that gym. Well, I'll be seeing you. It depends. Uh, will I be able to annihilate them like I did my father? What? Why does this have a green box around it? Is that a graphical error of the emulator, or is that in the game? No, it's a ninja! It's a motherfucking ninja! I was like, wait a minute, what the fuck is that? It's a ninja. <laughs> I was wondering why it looked so weird. But I forgot that some ninja tried to pull some shenanigans. <laughs> That's funny to me. Hit me with a power cord. Victory is mine. It's our time to shine. Woo yeah! And here I thought this would be a double battle. Odd. And you only have one Pokemon. Why do you... Why do so many of these people only have, like, one or two Pokemon? Even my... At this point in the game, like, Gary had, like, four at least, didn't he? Or is my mind going to bloom? Quick attack is illegal, now die! Quick attack was made by the Satanist cult of Abraham Lincoln. And now he's fucking paralyzed. You show me who's the boss, we'll have to take the loss, oh no! And now I have to give my goddamn dog a... B frickin' berry, you motherfucker! I don't care about the label. <laughs> I still wonder why that's like the default selection. All right, uh, graphical glitch ninja, fight me. To lurk in the shadows and live in darkness—that is my destiny. I emerge to challenge you. I'm gonna shove you back into a sewer. If this place doesn't have one. I'll make one so you can meet the Ninja Turtles and be eaten alive. Ninja looks weird. Like a common rider character or something. A common rider monster, probably. How dare you hurt the boy! I wonder why it was super effective. What type did you use? Fury Cutter. Isn't Fury Cutter bug? Then how come... Hmm. I do not understand typing sometimes. Level up for the boy! I admit defeat! Go back into the darkness, I take your money from you. Something unseeable is in the way. Uh, 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 what? Something unseeable is in the way. Do I have to kill a uh, Mr. Mime or something? That's weird. Up to 16 decorations and furniture items can be placed on a secret base. 
pick your favorite items and create your very own secret base exactly the way you want. I still haven't been in mine because I have to use a Pokemon to go there. Well, it's fight, I guess. I forgot to swap my Pokemon. To hide in a tree, use a forest! That is true. Hard time finding, a, a, like, a nail in a box of nails when you're looking for one nail. I guess we'll just tackle you to death. And you'll probably explode. Don't you dare poison the boy. You fucker. How dare you poison the poison. You are an evil person, don't you know, coughing. And yep. You're a petty little bastard, aren't you? And he's gonna die from the poison, too! Oh wait, I can swap out before that happens. Huzzah! You fuck. <laughs> you evil little bastard. Genuinely. Genuinely. You just... You're a monster, and I forget. Poison is weak to psychic, right? Don't know why. Is it like, because of, like, oh, you meditate enough? That you can, like, control your body or something? I bow to your superiority. And now, I need to heal my, my poor boy. My boy. My poor boy. And uh, did that just in case I don't have any berries. Pekka berries. Again, why just checking the tag? <laughs> Well, let's see. I guess we'll have Luna in front so she can start leveling up. I still want to know what that frickin' unseeable thing that's in the way is. It sounds weird. And apparently there's a more acro bike stuff to the left. I wonder if I need Waterfall for that. There's way too many... Way too many, seemingly, it seems. Way too many, like, water shenanigan stuff. Dive, waterfall, surf. Why are there just so many? The treetop city with that frolics of nature. I don't believe you. Listen, kid, are you working on a Pokedex? Hmm, go to the Safari Zone, that's my suggestion. I don't think I will. Then again, last time, the Safari Zone was needed. Have you done anything at the record corner? It's pretty neat. It mixes and matches the records of trainers. I don't know I don't know quite how it works, but it's cool. It's exciting, even. Oh, wow, you have a Pokenav, and it's just like mine. Do you know about Pokemon, Pokenav's match call system? Access it, and you can chat with registered trainers anytime. It also shows you which trainers want to rematch with you. It's really nifty. Those Devon guys sure know what they're doing. So, ah, so it's a rematch function as well. I didn't really know that. Then again, why else would you want to have the stock messages from all these m crazy people? I wonder if it would, like, let you know. Oh, it tell... That's weird. Some of them are unknown. Like, oh, well, Scott makes sense. And I guess Steven, yeah, that's funny. Ah, there they are! Those are the ones that want to rematch! Neat! Interesting. Well, I guess before we go anywhere, we're gonna buy stuff. That kid's on a handheld Pokemon device thingy. Well, let's talk to the people, it's only kind. A rare candy makes a Pokemon grow immediately by one level! I don't like using them, though. Because I don't know, is it like... Does it have, like, a negative effect on the stats or anything? You'd think that it would, because you're just power leveling through the rock, the candy. I always stock up on more items than I'm sure I'll need. You never know what might happen. Better be safe than sorry. Exactly. Super Repel lasts a long time, and it gets the job done. It's much better than an ordinary Repel. Unless you want to just go a certain amount of steps without fighting a Pokemon, and then be free. Ooh, Ultra Ball time. 
I don't think we'll need that many. Because I'm not really catching that many Pokemon right now. And now we're into the Hyper Potion Zone. Of which I'll probably buy 20, just to be safe. And some revives. I forget how many we had. I'll take at least five, because I think we bought ten last time. Hmm. I'll buy more, because I'm paranoid. I need all the healing and all the revives I can possibly get, because this game is mean. What do you have to say? The city consists of homes built on the trees. Perhaps because of that lifestyle, everyone is healthy and lively. Why, even myself, I feel as if I've grown 30 years younger. There are Pokemon that evolve when you trade them. That's what I heard. And then I affected reality and made it so they happen no matter what. Living on top of the trees is okay, but sometimes bug Pokemon come in through the windows. It can be really startling. Especially because bug Pokemon are freaking huge. Pokemon and people have adapted to nature for survival. There's no need to make nature conform to the way we want to live. Why do you only have a drawer? Where's your bed? The tree houses of Fortree are great. I think it's the number one town for living together with Pokemon. I don't believe you. An odd detail to include. Amusing, I suppose. I'm buying a pretty desk, and I'm putting my cute dolls on it. If I don't, when I decorate my secret base, my dolls will get dirty or poked with splinters. Merchandise you buy here is sent to your own PC. That's a fantastic. I wish they could also deliver me home like that. Uh, go find Bill. Become a Pokemon. Then you can do that. Which is, some kind, is something that's kind of odd. If you can send living beings Pokemon through the computer as data... Why can't you send people? Roar, I need it. I have to get me a Volbeat. I'll do anything for it. Uh, did you hear that? My shell from the bottom of my heart? Having heard that, will you please trade your Volbeat for my Plusle, won't you? Why would I trade for a Plusle when I could catch a Plusle? Maybe it's because it holds an item that's good. Trading Pokemon with others. It's as if you're trading your own memories with other people. It's as if you're trading your own children, really. People, Pokemon, their hidden powers are aroused by living in natural environments. Why did you have to use the word aroused? Let this old woman see if your hidden power is awoken. I hold a coin in my hand. Now tell me, have I palmed it in the right hand or in the left? The right. Oh yes, correct. We shall try again. Which hand have palmed the right or the left? Right. Oh yes, you're correct. We shall try again. Right. No, too bad. You guessed wrong. Hmm, my wife relies on hidden power to stay awake. She should just take a nap like I do and sleep talk. I can teach you Pokemon how to sleep talk. No, thank you. I don't have a Pokemon that knows a sleep move on itself. Hello, it's time for recent happenings. For Pokemon trainers, every day is a storybook tale. We, what we want to do is to introduce to you some of these Pokemon tales. Today, we bring you the story of the trainer, Neon. What did Neon experience recently? Let's find out. Let's see. I attack. I number one. Wasn't that enlightening? The story gives you a clear idea of what Neon has experienced recently. It's as if we were there as a witness. The number one section of the tale is very expressive. Neon has recounted a wonderful tale involving Pokemon. And now Neon's tale is indelibly etched into your sold too. That's it for today. Please tune in next week for another TikTok, apparently. What's that thing you have there? Oh, it's called a Pokedex? It's really awesome. You asked what it was, and you didn't even know. While well, speaking about Pokedexes, I remembered something. I met this trainer, Steven, when I was searching for rare stones. Oh boy, he had some amazing Pokemon with him. They weren't just rare, they were trained to terrifying extremes. He might even be stronger than the gym leader in this town. I will still destroy him and his Pokemon. No one believes me, but I saw this gigantic Pokemon in the sky. It seemed to squirm as it flew toward Route 131. By the way, you, uh, you, uh, smell singed. Were you at the volcano or something? Yes, I was. How dare you smell of me, though. There, go, bird Pokemon! What? <laughs> I asked my Winkle to run an errand for me. Your, your Wingle's never coming back. 
By being together with Pokemon, people make more and more friends. And that brings the world closer together. I think it's wonderful. His Pokemon is never coming back. I want to go to the Pokemon gym, but something's blocking the way. After all the bother, I went through training on Route 120. The ground absorbs rainwater and trees grow by drinking that water. Our four tree city exists because that there's both water and soil. Ah, I get it. It's because it's a metaphor. Something unseeable is in the way. Well, that's bullshit. But I guess we have to continue on. Why am I carrying this parasail? I'll tell you if you can win against me. I guess we have to continue on until we find whatever's causing these invisible barriers. Maybe I need to go to Mount Pyro first. That could be it. Because Team Aqua mentioned that. So it's entirely possible. Then again... Maybe I also need to go to Route... What was it? 132? Because a Pokemon was flying through the sky and... The guy mentioned it. Kill him. Throw him into a wall. I don't know why it went down like that slow. But huzzah. I am the wind. A Parasil can't ward off Pokemon attacks. I wasn't attacking you. I was attacking your Pokemon. Oh, you are a motherfucker. Hey, Steven Stone, I saw you. Hmm. I wonder what's this way. Is it like a, a Mr. Mime or something? Who's blocking the goddamn way? A rare candy that I'm probably never going to use. All right. Another hidden, like, diddly-dee. These guys again. I guess I'll set up a... team to smack you with. And then we'll smack you. Oh, you're Neon. Hi. Do you remember us from last time? Can you show us how much stronger you've become? Okay, Q interview. It wasn't that long ago, though. It really wasn't, I don't think. It was like after I got my diddly D. what was it? We'll annihilate that guy first, so that we only have to deal with the Magneton. But I'm trying to think. It was only after we just got Surf was, was last time. It wasn't that much of a wait. You are a bastard. And you will die alone in the world. And of course you did the one that had Surf. Wait a minute. Surf could have hit them both. Ah, I am not used to double battles. Just not used to double battles at all. Well, it actually did decent damage though. I am annoyed by your uh, status effects. Will you kindly die? Break through the confusion! Zoom, you are letting me down. How dare you have status effects, you motherfucker. At least now you will die. Why did the not-so-effective Leaf Blade do more damage than the Surf, which was normal damage? Is Surf just a bad move to use as damage? That was an intense battle. Did you get all that on camera? If he was also throwing out commands, it must have been bad. Like, <laughs> for him to try and, like, have a steady camera while calling out attacks. Then again, I beat his loud dread really fast. Egg, remember? That's the quote you gave us in the battle clincher last time. I never ever forget stuff like that. Anyway, what do you think? Do you want to be interviewed again? Sure. Okay, I need you to describe your feelings about our battle, but it has to be short and sweet. We're on TikTok after all. I shall foo-foo-foo. I will laugh at you. 
Hmm, yeah, that's the perfect clincher. I get the feeling that this will take make a great TV show. There's a chance that you, this will air on TV, so make sure to look for us. Okay, we'll be seeing you. You are odd people. You are odd and evil. As are the Pokemon in this grass who must be annihilated. It's an absol. The problem, goddamn, is that I have a full team. Don't flinch, motherfucker. Well, I'm gonna try and catch you anyway so I can swap out. It's just that I like Absol. Absol is a cool Pokemon. But Night Fang has contributed to the team so well. Let's see how much damage a bite does, because it should be weak. Hmm. Aha, and you flinched. Because I like Absol, and I'm going to catch one. But again, these Pokemon games aren't really conducive to, like making multiple teams and using them. Go Ultra Ball! Be caught in an Ultra Ball. Become my friend. Bastard. Because I just know if I do one more attack, it's gonna get a crit. Even if I use Bite. Huzzah! Absol, the disaster Pokemon. It sharply senses even subtle changes in the sky and the land to predict natural disasters. It is a long-lived Pokemon that has a lifespan of 100 years. You shall bear the name as all others have, and I can't find F for some reason because I am a fool. You shall bear the name Fate. Put Luna in first again, and we'll fight this guy, I guess. My Pokemon is strong! How about yours? I'm going to annihilate you. Probably in one move. And you only have one Pokemon. Annihilate this fool and his unevolved Swablu. Throw it into a wall. Be gone. Your Pokemon were stronger! I beat you in one move like I said I would. You can be counted on to get better. I'd like to register you in my Pokenav so that I can beat you worse later. Hey, Steven Stone. Or are you like a, a, a fake? Are you a monster? I might as well heal my Pokemon at the very least. For some reason, I was going the wrong way. I'll heal you, just in case. And I shall heal you. Also, just in case. And I guess let's talk to Steven. Hmm? Neon, hi. It's been a while. There's something they hear that you can't see, right? Now, if I were able to use this device on the invisible obstacles... No, no, rather than describing it, I should just show you. That would be more fun. Are your Pokémon ready to battle? Yeah. Neon, show me your true power as a trainer. Use the Devon Scope. An invisible Pokemon came, became completely visible. Ah, oh, Kesleon. That's what you are. I was like, what kind of invisible person? It's like, oh, Kesleon. That makes sense. I guess I'll catch you too. And a critical hit, so I don't know what your base thing is. Well, I guess I'll throw more Ultra Balls at ya. Ultra Ball, go! Get in the ball, stay in the ball, never leave the ball, be gone. The dance of the ball has succeeded. Kesleon, color swap Pokemon. A Pokemon that has the ability to alter its body colors to match its surroundings. A Kesleon reverts to its original colors if it is startled. Uh, you shall be called... 
shop. I see, your battle style is intriguing. You used one move and then threw a Pokeball. Impressive. Your Pokemon have obviously grown since I first met you in Dufert. I'd like you to have this Devon scope. Who knows, there may be other concealed Pokemon. Neon, I enjoy seeing Pokemon and trainers who strive together. I think you're doing great. Well, let's meet again somewhere. <laughs> that was sudden. I fly away now on the back of a Pokemon. And uh, I guess we'll go get this item down here. Use the Devon scope. And I already caught one Kesleon. But I'm going to assume that you guys are rare. I'll at least catch another. Just in case. Then again, this also makes sense. And now I guess we'll see if the white herb was used, because that was the use-like animation. Well, that's not good. Luckily, it didn't do too much damage. More confusion. We'll wear you down and then capture you because I can. There are two other Kesleon. And I don't think I'll catch those because I think two Kesleon should be enough. Also, is it Kesleon or Kekleon? I don't know. From which does the sea go? And now we will call you Shiny so that you can be the Shiny one to the normal shopkeeper so that it can truly be Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I was going to pick up this motherfucker, Ellie. I don't care about you. There's an item here. It's a nest ball, which was more valuable than your call, Elliot. You're not even a real person. We're going to go back, heal our Pokemon, deal with all the Kesleons that we've run into. Granted, it was an interesting idea. Plus, it also brings back, like, the scope item. Kind of like the Sylph scope from the first game, which is now no longer needed for some reason. Ghost Pokemon about, you don't have to worry about them. Even though in the first game, maybe all like Pokenavs, Pokedexes, and just technology in general after Generation 1 include the Sylph scope as like a built in thing. So that people are like, are you. Wor they reset to their base, so I was wondering what the hell was going on. Hello, startled Kesleon. I shall annihilate you. Because I just want to know what's this way. I already caught you once. I already caught you twice. I no longer need you. So now you will be obliterated. Psychic! Oh no, it's turned into a psychic. Why would you... I guess you wanted the stab? Or the confusion. And the rain, it continues to fall. Break through the confusion. You're a psychic type. You're intelligent. Kill him. How dare you survive? You would have been the perfect one to catch. <laughs> Sorry, game. You won't twist my soul around. I've already made up my mind that this Kesleon shall die. Goodbye. Oh yeah, you have to break through the confusion. Do it, you're smart. Break through the confusion to use confusion. Like, unless there's a specific reason why you'd want to, like, catch all four Kesleon or more. There might be more. And we will annihilate the one in front of the gym. And, uh... That will be it, I guess. Oh, it fled. Alright. Is the gym leader, like, using a Kesleon to stop people from getting in for some reason? Because they don't want to fight. 
Are they bored? And they're like, I just want to be here forever and not fight anyone. I'll have my Kesleon be a bouncer that nobody can see. You'd think that somebody would have been like, go, Charizard, use a nuclear option on whatever's there. And their Pokemon would go, oh shit, and it would just explode. And then the gym would also explode. Everyone would explode. Winona, the bird user, taking flight into the world. Striker is gonna annihilate you unless you have a trick up your sleeve. Yo, how's it going, Champion Bound Neon? Fortree Gym Leader Winona is a master of flying type Pokemon. She's waiting at the back of this gym behind the rotating doors. She's waiting for her new challengers who are trying to take wing, okay? Go for it. I guess I'll go this way. I guess I can go this way and fight you. When Winona takes you to takes to battle, her face shines with beautiful determination. I'm not letting you witness that lovely sight. Well, aren't you a disturbing individual? Now you must die. You use Skarmory, you most certainly should die. I forgot. For some reason, Psychic is considered like a physical attack or something. It makes no sense. You know what? I'm just good. <laughs> Luna is about to level up anyway. I don't know why I keep going to bag when I mean Pokemon. I don't know why. Striker, come out and annihilate this fool. You dare use Skarmory. Now you must die. You keep cutting the air. It does nothing. You cannot win, little man. Little man. Little bird man. Be gone! And level up for Luna. Huzzah! Uh, I couldn't stop you! No. No, you could not. And I'm just gonna put... Duh, 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 striker in front. Yep, and the white herb was indeed a single-use thing. Interesting puzzle mechanic stuff. Behold the elegant battle style of bird Pokemon! Winona taught me personally, you can't beat me easily! I'm gonna annihilate all of you. Ah, full team battle this time! This will be interesting. Now, who do I fear more? I fear you more. Headbutt. Annihilate them all. Don't let them see the light of day. And another Swablu. So am I just going to one-hit them eternally and not let them get a single hit in? That would be hilarious. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is why I have Striker, because uh, die. Then again, this is a lower level Skarmory than the one the other guy had. And plus, I think it's like double weak, because it's steel and flying. And then the grass flying, I suppose. It does not look like it should be a bird Pokemon. I guess I'll annihilate you and let... Oh, he didn't die. Oh, hell. Oh, no. It's gonna affect both of them. Then again, I probably should have done lightning to test out Tropius's, like, living. You motherfucker. And I guess I'll just use Surf. Because why not? Let's go crazy. It's probably what I should have been doing this entire time. Double hit them. Then again, it's weaker than Headbutt, probably. Why are you alive again? Why are there five million of you? Ah, neat to see Razor Leaf. Not so neat to see that it hits both of my Pokemon. Kill the Swablu for existing. 
The Swablu must die. And what does that even do? How dare you have a double hit attack? Then again, it's not really all that effective, honestly. It's not all that scary. He has been asleep for three turns. I demand compensation. In the form of God. You'd think that since the sweet scent activated, it would act, uh, act like smelling salts. And it would go, oh my god, I wake up at the sweet scent. Then again, it's also kind of like a drug, I suppose, and that's why it lowered our evasion. Leave the boy alone! How dare you do this? You must die. Of course you wake up now. At least we'll be able to see the typing effectiveness of thunder against you. It's normal. You are very odd. You, you're strong. I was beaten. Your teacher will be disappointed of you. You will never see the light of day again. I wanted to go down to the bag game. For some reason, my brain goes like... wonky. And we'll just keep annihilating people. Yeah, I think we go here. Interesting. A double bubble bubble. Another bubble bubble. Another double bubble. Of which we should probably let you come in. We have Steel Wing at least to mix things up. There's no need for Winona, our gym leader, to deal with you. I'm plenty good enough for you. The lovers of bird Pokemon aspire to join this gym. As a member of the Four Tree Gym, I'm not allowed to lose. Like what, do you get executed if you do lose? Is that why you're not allowed to? Why are you easier than the last ones? You make no sense. Thunderbolt, Steel Wing. True, show that you're the true swallow around here, Nickel. Honestly, I probably should have just used a uh, world like a uh, wing attack. Your polyper is gonna get fucking annihilated. What the hell is that? Annihilate them. Annihilate them both. Kind of funny. Bye-bye, Polipper. You're, like, double weak to lightning. Electricity. Whatever. Level up for Nickel. Huzzah! How dare you copy me. At least my wing attack is better than your wing attack. We're just gonna annihilate you over here. I should have used Thunder. Then it would activate upon the next one that came out. But I just didn't know who would go first. Nickel has been going first more, though, so I should have seen that coming. Hey, Zatu! We haven't seen you in a while. And, uh, just annihilate him. I should have noticed that Nickel would have gone first, but meh. And just to make sure he can't confuse one of us, he would have died the next turn anyway, but meh. Bye-bye, Zatu. Ah, uh, Winona! I lost! It was too much of a load for me to bear. You are all a bunch of weirdos. Guess I'll put you back in place. And we'll quickly heal Nickel just in case. Because uh, one person did have Roar, but I think that was an Aqua Grunt, but still. I'm going to assume... Huh. Oh, I see. Now well, I'm gonna annihilate you. You better know that there are all sorts of flying-type Pokémon. You do know that, right? Yes, there are ones that are weak to lightning. Some that are really weak to lightning. Other ones that are really weak to lightning. Some that are just normal. Like this one. This one's just normal. He's still gonna die. Kill him. 
It's not like it's immune. It's not like it's a flying ground type. I don't know. I'm, I'm not scared of you. You're not going to do much to me. Let's see how much damage the tackle does. I'm just going to use thunder. I'm surprised... You bastard. How dare you? Leave my Pokemon alone. And now we'll Thunderbolt you again and hopefully kill you in one go. Get a crit while you're at it. Either way, you are gone. And Striker got lots of experience. And Striker is bound to get more because we're gonna kill the leader. You seem to know your stuff. No, I just have a really strong Pokemon that I spammed moves with over and over again until I won. That's the true Pokemon experience. We'll go ahead and heal you again. Yeah, we'll diddly do that. Walk around. They're just kind of odd, aren't they? Let's see, do, uh, like, do we have, like, uh, elixirs? What are elixirs? Ah, we can use ether. I am not using these much. Restore Thunderbolt. And, of course, we're going to save, just in case the game is mean. Alright, now fight me. I'm Winona. I am the leader of the Four Tree Pokemon Gym. I become one of one with the bird Pokemon, and I have soared the skies. However grueling the battle, we have triumphed with grace. Witness the elegant choreography of bird Pokemon and I. What is that? The Pokemon version of the King and I? You have a cool design. Why have I not seen you much before? Oh, how adorable. You think a Swablu's gonna do anything, Thunderbolt? Like, unless you send out a Tropius, I'm just gonna keep using Thunderbolt. You send out a Tropius, I'm just gonna send out somebody else. Altaria. That's the love of the Evolve version. That's gonna die anyway. It has the it has red eyes. It's out to kill me. Is this your ace? I don't think so. Then again, Norman sent out his ace second. Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna have to... And just keep attacking. Thunderbolt. Get a crit, maybe. Damn. Oh, you're just gonna keep raising your stats until you're dead? Either that or it's gonna outspeed. Congratulations, you raised your health. Ah, you're a bastard. Oh, so your super effective knocks out my Pokemon, but my super effective doesn't to you? That seems really silly if you ask me, game. One second, I'm just gonna revive my dude. Get him all shape ship. But yeah, that was stupid. Fine. Steel wing. See what that does. How come you get to go first? That's stupid. Mine was faster. Oh, well, you see, I raised my uh, stuff by two. I was like, eh. My Pokemon are always the fastest. That's why one of them is called Zoom. Headbutt. Well, at least we know why you're the ace here. And... Ah, you're a bitch. Fine, then. Because that raises it by 50. I'm going to have to use a lot of revives this fight, it seems, because your ace is bullshit. How dare a flying type know a ground type move? That should be illegal. Thunderbolt. Like, I could try to, like, what's the word? Like, use the paralysis thing on you, but I just know the game would be mean and have it not work. 
You're gonna use Earthquake? Yep. How come your Earthquake hasn't missed yet? That should be a missable move. Survive! That's bullshit. Again, my super effectives don't do that to you. I think that's bullshit. I uh, might as well, hmm. Yeah, this one's kind of scary. Let's try to knock it down. Aha, I get flinched. How come you get to go first? You're obviously slower than my Night Fang. He has a Quick Claw. That's why he's the fastest in the world. About to send out Tropius. Hmm. Yeah, I'll stay out. Yeah, because I was thinking of maybe sending out my boy Shane, but he probably would have been annihilated because you're flying type still. But how dare that Altaria have such a move variety. That should be illegal. Especially because it was one-shotting my Pokemon with Earthquake. It should be illegal. I'll revive Zoom and Striker at least. It is kind of weird that this is a flying type. It would feel more like if it was like an an air type, maybe. Yeah, you keep using that aerial ace. You keep doing it. I don't even know why you use Sunny Day, but I'm glad that you did. I don't even need to do that. That seems like a waste of my hyper potions. Plus, I have super potions to waste. Oh, that's why. That's probably going to do tons of damage. How the hell are you alive? Now's the time to use a hyper potion, I would say. I wonder if that hyper po like a solar beam. Nope, it does not need to wait a turn. Maybe it was because the sunlight was overhead and that powered up the uh, solar beam to allow it to go through without having to wait a turn. But again, it really does feel like a lot of these super powerful moves should have way more like, sorry, you have to wait a turn. You did a big thing, boy. What? Oh, that's not good at all. What if I make you flinch? Nope. Ah, oh, but that's why. I think I just was going through the motions so much that I just completely missed that he went and you, uh, like, charged up a solar beam. Because I'm a fool. Yeah, you keep charging. It would be hilarious if I could interrupt that with, with a flinch. Flinch, why don't you? <laughs> Critical hit, good job. It would be my dream if, like, I'm charging up a solar beam. I'm gonna make you flinch. Goodbye. Good job, Night Fang. You stood strong. You acted as a brick wall when we needed you. Much pats for you. <laughs> You're gonna use a polyper. This one better not know fucking earthquake. But yeah, that motherfucking cloud was evil. Guess who's back? Back again. He's gonna kill you. This is what you get for using hyper potions on your ace carry, who was super strong and scary and had a diddly D. You will die. I forgot to read, but I, like, uh, I saw like Skarmory flash across. So I was just like, oh yeah, I'm fine. But yeah, it's just, it bothers me. That was just like, I use super effective attack on you. It'll take like three hits to take you down. I'm going to do it once. Then again, it did raise its attack a lot, but still. I just think it's a little silly. <laughs> Never before have I seen a trainer command Pokemon with more grace. 
Keeping them in the back line so you can just heal them up over and over again was a grand idea. In recognition of your prowess, I present to you this gym badge. And a lot of money. I can buy like two hyper potions with that. I got the feather badge. I am the victor. With the feather badge, all Pokemon up to level 70, even those received through trades, will obey every command. You will also be able to use the HM move Fly outside of battle. And this, this is a gift from me. Is it Earthquake or is it Dragon Dance? Aerial Ace. Oh. It's speed. No Pokemon should be able to avoid it. And then I add you. <laughs> well, I didn't die, if only because I had a brick wall in the form of Night Fang and a bunch of revives. You did it! You achieved liftoff! And that's all he has to say. Then I suppose that well we first should... Hi, Neon, it's me. Just as I thought you won the Fortree Gym. Your strength, perhaps you really are the trainer that I've been searching for. Remember, you have a fan in me. I'll be cheering them on the sidelines. Keep up the great work. How did you know that I won when you went the other way? Are these televised? Maybe. Then again, didn't the game open up with, like, a, like some kind of thing to do with Norman's gym? It would make for some grand re reality TV, I suppose. Mixed with sports. Wait, does that mean that people have been recording me without my consent this whole time? Oh, but I guess before we go on, I should teach Fly to Dear Nickel. I would like to teach Nickel to fly, even though they're a bird and should already be able to fly. Let's get rid of uh, Peck, because I hardly use that and mainly use the wing attack. And it's the same typing, so it doesn't really matter. Let's see. Do I want to give you Aerial Ace? It's a 60-20 power point versus wing attack. Wing attack, which is 60. 35 power point. Hmm. And I guess I want to keep the double team just in case. If there's like a slower Pokemon and I can try to stall out a bit. And I guess before we go anywhere, we're going to save just in case. Never know when the world will be like, ah, your computer caputo. The world can be crazy. But now we know Fly, we can move on. We already went through this area a little bit, so we don't have much to worry about. Let's move along. Let's see, who should I have in the front now? I guess I'll have Zoom in the front to level her up more. Do you have any moves that can strike a flying Pokemon? Do you want me to send out the Pokemon I just used to annihilate the majority of the flying type gym leader's Pokemon? Is that what you really want? Be gone, Satan. And a level up for Zoom. Covet. I don't think I care about that move. Let's at least give it a shot. Cutely begs to obtain an item held by the foe. Eh, but that requires, like, high intelligence play, and I'm not all that intelligent. Game again. I'm clicking cancel five million times. Let me go. By clicking, hey, I want to not learn that. You'd think it would take the hint by clicking cancel a million times. How adorable. You're gonna die here. The rain continues to fall. Kill it. Annihilate it. Make it to squeam. You soared above me. You didn't even get to use a move. 
Only I get to play. My play. I'm the one who plays. Where is Mount Pyro, I wonder? I guess I could... Where, what, what, what is this? Why does it lead away so? Still a Poochiana? Would have sworn that you would have been a mighty Ina by now. And because you're a single evolu- like a first evolution, you're not really worth beating. Yeah, this is just, I guess, a long-winded, do you want to not fight enemies for some reason? Even though you know, I do want to fight enemies. I just wanted to see what's down here. There could be secrets. There could be secrets of magical things down here. Of course, it just leads seems to be like a a big place that could have many things. I could put down, put on a rappel, but you never know. We might run into something interesting. It's not really what I meant. Very rude of you, game. You took one step into the grass. Oh god, I just had a, a horrifying thought. What if there was, like, a Pokemon challenge? You know, like Nuzlocke? Except every step on a path that summons a Pokemon is guaranteed to summon a Pokemon. Just think how monstrous that would be. Let's see. Every single step in grass. Pokemon. Your party Pokemon. Do you have many different types? I, I say I do. Me, my Pokemon, and Paracel. If any one of them is missing, the picture of beauty will be ruined. I guess I'll have to destroy you. Why do you only have one? Why do you have a cast form? That was supposed to be my Pokemon. My special Pokemon that I earned at the Weather Institute. Are you a secretly a Team Magma? You bastarding bitch. Uh, wing Attack you and uh, Psychic you. We probably should have doubled down on the Minetric, come to think of it. Luckily, he is dead. You're a water type now. Why do you have that? Nickel, no! Wow, of course it's a critical hit, you whore. Fine, Shane gets to destroy you. You hurt his friend. Now you must die. Leaf blade. Confusion. How dare a water type learn the lightning and kill my bird? I didn't even know what kind of Pokemon you'd throw out and you throw out a monster. I've seen your policy in action. You've completely ruined my beauty. It's what you deserve. I could go back to town to revive, but why do that when I have a bunch of revives? And super potions. Well, only 11 super potions, but still. Same thing. My, we ninja conceal ourselves under camouflage cloaks. I bet you didn't know where I was. Uh, the first time that a ninja did that, no. But uh, this time, yes, I did. If you don't pay attention, you could get hurt. I think they go together. The ninja and then the woman who will patronize you. Don't bug types annihilate, like, normal? And let's see. I fear the bug type more than the fighting type. And who are you going to smell next? Coffin! Kill him. Kill him now. Blow him up with your mind. You are a bunch of fools who will die. 
And now you can wing attack him while she psychics him. Oh no, he's gonna explode, isn't he? The moment I defeat this Makuhida, the ninja is gonna rage quit. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Why do you all have to be little whiny little bitches? He's like, I'm going to lose. I shall poison you instead. You are a monster. You are evil. And if I and I assume that if I let you live, you would use self destruct just to spite me. Then again, I critical hit super effective you, so it's what you get, really. It's what you deserve. I should camouflage my shame. You poison my Pokemon. Ouch! I was the one to get hurt. You are like. You're probably going to get hypothermia more than anything out here. And... I avoided the label this time. Then again, I probably could have used an antidote. Meh. Pokemon have many special abilities. If you want to become a first-class trainer, learn about them. Or I could just train my Pokemon to unbelievable heights and just brute force through everything. I could just destroy you. I could destroy you all. With the power of God. Always nice to see Sableye. He's a cool Pokemon. What does that do? But you used Detect. You didn't use Protect. Die this time, won't you? How dare you survive? That's illegal. Surviving me... That's against the law. Once again. Don't really see the point of Detect aside from, I guess, trying to spot out very powerful moves and stop them from happening. You'll think you're cool, but you are not cool. You will merely die in the rain. Also, why are you just out... Might I ask why? Why did you do that? <laughs> it would be kind of funny if there was a Pokemon fight with an, an NPC who had like a million potions. So you had to plot your thing properly to destroy them before they just healed their Pokemon again. And hello there, Twitch chat. We had a decent time defeating Winona just a bit earlier. Fought a bunch of Kesleon. And now we are going up against the rare I'm going to heal mid-fight NPC trainer. Then again, I guess they're not really that rare in this game. Because they were the rich, like, lad, lady and lad, I guess, back on that, like, flowerberry road. It's just, it always catches me off guard when in... NPC trainer that isn't like a named character or a gym leader. Then again, all the all the Pokemon trainers are named. What am I talking about? You get what I mean. The important characters. It's always a surprise when they use just a heal. You thought it was just a simple little fight against a nobody. And you're correct, but we're still gonna heal. You're obviously thinking. I think about a lot of things. Is that meant to be a stealth insult? Like, ha ha ha, you don't have anything going on in your brain? You're a weird person. Come along, Luna. Now you will be the one to do some killing. As we seek out some people in... Kesleon? Why is, why is it whenever I put Luna in front that suddenly a Kesleon appears? Fine, Kesleon. We summon you. Then it turns out to be a Mr. Mime after all. That would be amusing. You thought it was him, Kesleon, but it was him, Mr. Mime. We already caught two Kesleon, and I don't care to catch any more. Don't forget to save. I saved not too long ago after, okay. Once again, Zoom deciding bad vibes and instant annihilate. 
But we saved just after we beat Winona, so I think we're safe. Then again, anything can happen in the world of Pokemon. I'll check your Pokemon and see if they're fit for the outdoors. Ah, because you're a Pokemon Ranger. Good for you. We will annihilate you. But it's always good to keep saving in mind, because you never know when out of nowhere the game will go, Surprise! Boss fight! <laughs> Every single time, I swear. <laughs> the enemy Pokemon survive with one HP. Of course. Back to back healers. And I miss my attack. Kill him. Make him flinch again. Or just kill him outright. I wonder why that didn't happen <laughs> last time. Damage variants, how dare you? And I forgot to read who's coming out next. Ah, we'll send out. We'll send out Luna. She can have some fun. And hopefully not die. Lumbre! You must die. Sacrifice to the sky. So the rains may stop and we no cry. Psychic. How dare you fake out, you bitch. And you make her flinch. Double how dare you. Kill him! For making you flinch! Decent experience, huzzah! And now we shall kill the Nuzleaf. The nipple Pokemon. I still do not know why they had to draw that. It doesn't bother me, it's just so out of place in Pokemon. It just feels weird. Jesus, double flinch. Maybe fake out is the greatest flinch move of them all. Oh. Well, you're, you're dark grass? I never know. Very well, then. We will have to swap out to somebody else. And I still don't know why I go to my bag. My brain. Whenever I want to swap, my brain just goes, Yeah, go there. Don't die. Well... I will heal. Dear Nickel, before we send him out. You keep doing that. We're going to send out somebody to kill you in just a moment. I wonder if grass type should get stronger if it's the rain. I think it would make some level of sense. Granted, then it would be love powering up both, like, grass type and water type, which could be bothersome. Maybe if there was, like, specific ones that could. Uh, but to kill him. Bye-bye, Nuzleaf. If you survived with one HP, I would have been I would have been something. We have defeated Lorenzo. With Pokemon that strong, you're in no danger of needing rescue. Well, I wouldn't say that. The world is kind of crazy. You could have super strong Pokemon and still just get annihilated. Another enemy to kill. How's your physical fitness? If you're not fit, you could have a rough time in critical situations. I know I should w work out more. How dare you call out on me this, Pokemon? I don't know why, but seeing a low uh, right now is just throwing me for a loop, and I don't know why. Kill him! And who next? Alombre. We shall send out Luna to annihilate you. So that Luna might hopefully level up, be on par with everybody else. Also, we're just running into a lot of grass types all of a sudden. Is that just the favorite of the Pokemon Rangers? Kill him! Throw him into the ocean. We may not be near the ocean, but we will drag him there. And level up for Luna. And you're about to send out a Nuzleaf. We're going to send out our flying type to annihilate you. Kill him. We learned our lesson last time. Nuzleaf is not good fighting for dear Gardevoir. Goodbye, Nuzleaf.
At least you give good experience. I'm totally fit, but... What does that even mean? Even though I am fit, I have befallen a critical situation. You silly fool. I go take care. See you maybe in other stream. That's fine. Thank you for at least spending a small bound of time with me. And may you have luck in whatever it is you go to do. I will maneuver the tall grass and probably fight more grass types, probably. I found a nugget. That's always nice. Why are there just ledges? Alright, so this seems to be a loop-to-loop. -loop. I guess let's loop. This just goes down. Want to battle? What kind of weirdo are you, a Pokemaniac? No, you're a bug. You are some kind of maniac. I forget. Is bug weak to you? It's been a while. You'll probably kill them anyway, but meh. Annihilate all fools who stand in your way. Are you just going to have nothing but sun circuits? Surskit? Is that your entire shtick? Sure shtick in this case? You did not need to critical hit him. He is a poor boy. Now he is dead. We will just leaf blade them all to death. I wonder how many people have played through Pokemon games and just naturally went, I'm just going to have a team full of this. Obviously, there are going to be people out there who, like, go out of their way to catch a bunch of a single type of Pokemon. Do you have a Pokenav? But I wonder if there are people out there who just naturally did it. And we just found a Hyper Potion. That is some nice value. Wait a minute. I think going down is actually the, the proper way we're meant to go. Let me check my Pokenav map. Yep, this is the way we're meant to go. Then we need to head back up. Because there's more stuff to do up here. There was a direction to go. And when there's direction, there's things to do. And things to do is good. Granted, it could just be a random item up here. Another Castleon. No, it's just berries and a secret house. Here I thought it would be a thing, and that was the bonus way. My brain works in weird ways. I don't even know what these ass pear berries are. A spear? I don't even know why you would name this berry that. A spare. And now we'll just go down the way that we are meant to go. Darn it. I could have gotten out of the grass, but I'm a fool. Hello, Meryl. How dare you exist. We will annihilate you on the basis of you existing. Be gone, Satan! That one probably wasn't really worth it. And now we will continue on our way. I walked into the grass again, because I am a fool. I don't know why. Just like, the placement of the graphics makes it feel like I need to go down, like, an extra step than I do. And I don't know why. Do you not want to battle? Berries grow back by soaking up sunlight. We help the berries grow by watering them regularly. It's an expression of love, isn't it? Yes, it is. You understand what I mean. You should take this. Oh, no. Wikipedia. The online encyclopedia that anyone can edit. I think that berry is rare. I hope you raise it with loving care. Oh, hey. A bunch of Pekka berries. Neat. 
But we're gonna have to, like, find a good place to place the wiki berry. Because I don't really care about the wiki, like, the berries all that much. Because unless they're in a place I'm gonna be training about for a, after a stream, I don't really care to plant berries anymore. Well, let's take a look at the wiki berry. Corn Greppa Wiki Berry An item that restores HP but may confuse. Interesting. The lady just told me to go get confused. Hello, Ninja. I will adopt the movements of Pokemon and create new ninja techniques. Ah, oh, if it works, it works, I guess. Are you gonna jump off a cliff to fly? Who will win? Let us find out. You must die for your insolence. I just realized. Well, just realized. I. Why are all the ninjas so sore losery? You bastard! You hurted the boy! We're gonna kill you, little man. Little boy man. But as I was saying, I just remembered that I really should, uh, cause I didn't make, uh, like, a, a fully custom, like, uh, bup, 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 thumbnail art for this game series. I did for, like, uh, Ace Attorney, just because Brain thought hee haw, let us make, a. Uh, a funny aha. Uh -huh. The creation of new ninja techniques is but a distant dream. Oh, a Grovile is evolving! And then I will continue my rambling, but huzzah! It has been forever, I kind of forget what Sceptile looks like. The boy is evolving. He is becoming grand. Even though, t for some reason, all of, due to all of my, like, exposure, I kind of prefer Grovile. But hey, Sceptile's cool. But, yeah, what I need to do is uh, get around to making the Pokemon Platinum, like, custom art for the thumbnails for YouTube and stuff before I get to Pokemon, like, Platinum, Diamond, and Pearl. I say that even though I'm just going to be playing Platinum. But let's take a look at Shane's new art. Looks kind of wonky, but still looks kind of cool. I swear. Well, this is obviously going to be the optional path up here. Who might you be? Are you perhaps searching for ancient ruins that are rumored to possibly exist according to legend? No, I am not. You old fool, you're going to send out a sand shrew that I'm going to annihilate? Now you're going to send out a ball toy that I'm going to annihilate. Hey, look, Shane. It's a mobile juice. Eat him. Absorb his soul. Devour. How dare you not die? That is illegal here. You used ancient power, but that's not going to help you. You might think, ah, you rose your stats. They're not going to help you. They just are a sign that you are soon going to meet your end. Bullet seed. It makes it look like he's throwing the seeds at him now. Because they come directly from his hand. Your sand shrew will meet his end. Well, yeah, I got distracted. What I need to do is make more, like original custom art for my streams, just because I think it would be neat. Well, Vinchla, Vinchla. Because I did, it once again, did it for the Ace Attorney. But that was mostly on the fly. But I do plan on to, at least somewhat, make custom art with, like, my... Little character 
dressing up like the main Pokemon trainer of the game, except for black and white, and there is a specific purpose for that, and you will see once we get to black and white, which is two games from now. Unless I want to do Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver, which I might. What a disgraceful setback. Yeah, when it comes to the remakes, I'm like up in the air about things. So we found the ground temple. We found the... Because this is the ground temple or whatever. There was also the... Like the water temple that we found way, way back. Be interesting if that's like... Who knows? Maybe that's part of a... An event. That you need to activate. Like, there's only... I, I'll definitely need to look into any, like, special events that occurred around, like, Pokemon Platinum. To see if I want to save edit them in at the appropriate times. Who knows? Let's see. Who deserves a level up? Well, you've literally just leveled up. Get the old band back together. Fight me. There are powers beyond our understanding in the world. No oh, duh. Can't you see that I have all this stuff with me? Despite that, you still insist that we battle? I just walked in your way. You are the one to duh, accept the challenge. You are weirdos. Well, I think this works out grand, because I do believe that Bite will be a grand destruction of that Dust Skull. And for some reason, I didn't know that Dust Skull came from this game. Kill him. How dare you. How dare you, you bastard. Now kill the ghost. Goodbye, ghost. 300 experience for all. That Shuppet will be next on the list of dead. Bye-bye, Shuppet. Maybe Dustox? The Dustox lives. The world is cruel. But bye-bye, Shuppet. You are now dead. And Shuppet's in this game. Oh, you're gonna heal? You are a fool either way. Now you will die at the hand of my Pokémon. How, once again, that happens so often. They live with one health. It's maddening. Now you will suffer for what your twin did. You know, being a twin, Wurmple would be weird in this world. Because depending on your personality, you wouldn't stay twins for long. I have lost. Of course I lost. I'm holding stuff in both hands. Your handy, your hand, like, it is a single thing. How do you do this, is Rose? Have you had success catching Pokemon? You are stuck. Your stock footage should be gone. Well, there obviously is a hidden item there, and I want it. How dare you interrupt me, monster? It's a shop it! Once again, not really gonna use you, but I'll catch you if you don't die. Well, that's disturbing. I was going to catch you! Shop it, no! Shop it, no! I guess I could use another power point up. Uh, let's see. Let's use it on Leaf Blade. We will take this HP up. And we'll, we'll use it on somebody. Who deserves more HP? Let's see. Who's lagging behind? Nickel, you're lagging behind. Have your base HP up. Is it another Shuppet? It's a mighty Yina. Poochiena. Once again, my brain looks at Poochiena, jumps to the final evolution, and goes, Ah, yes, it's you. Will this level you up? It did! Level up for Zoom! 
then, who gets next? Obviously Night Fang, but we will put sn put Nickel in there. And we'll fight you, because we can. Stop! Have a good look at my ma precious Pokémon! They're gonna look like corpses in a second. Kill him. That's kind of amusing that this Kesleon is lower level than the other Kesleon that we've seen. How did you catch it? These things usually are invisible. I should have used a normal attack. Oh, we can just fuck with it. So, <laughs> Kesleon is basically the... You should have multiple, like, types with your Pokemon. Like, in move sets. So that you can better handle these kind of shenanigans. I don't care what Pokemon you're gonna use, I'll beat you anyway. Ah, it's a Viper, I forget. Does Dark not do good against you? I forget. It did good against you. No, don't poison the poison! Don't good. Fart. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's because poison is the most ran into, like, effect, but poison, I don't know. How dare you! Don't take it so seriously! You tried to poison my Pokémon! I took it easy on you this time. It won't be that way next time. You tried to poison my Pokémon! You tried to hurt them. How dare you! Oh, hey! Aqua Team! Kill him. That makes me wonder, are there, like, dual-type moves? I know there are dual-type Pokémon, but moves tend to be just one typing. Okay, we're to move out to Mount Pyre! I guess we needed that reminder. Mount Pyre. Let's take a look at the Hoenn map. Oh, because Mount Pyre is down that way, it seems. But I'm gonna take a look and see what's in this building first. Well, Field of Rare Pokemon, the Safari Zone. I don't care about the Safari Zone. I guess I've all beat the twins here. Together, we're fearless. We'll demonstrate how tough we are. By jumping off of a cliff? Ah, uh, not a slacking. Alright, uh... Kill that one. Kill that one. Kill that one dead. Kill that one. Kill him now. Don't let him do a thing. Oh, Jesus, he's gonna do a thing! At least it didn't do much, and that's gonna make him confused. You whore! Alright, so you'll attack that one, then we'll use confusion on them. Because we can't let the slacking get some moves off. Oh hey, you did it. Good job. You broke through. I was erring on the side of caution. And we'll get rid of the slacking. Bye bye. So you confuse the boy, and then you hypnosis to the girl. You're a monster, Billy. Now you must die. Don't hypnosis people. And uh, now Luna is going to be asleep. I blew it in front of my junior student partner. Is that a euphemism? Ah, Zinc. We can get up some people's defenses. Oh, special defense. Ah, uh, you. We need to baby our uh, starter a little bit. Well, let's see. I think we have a berry that should wake up. 
the deer. Let's see. Paralysis. Ah, Chesto. I don't care about that. I don't, I still don't understand why the tag is like the main thing that the game is just like, you should look at it. I want to use the berry, not look at the berry. You fool. Because I'm going to assume that way is down to the proper way. Yeah. Well, let's go, I guess. Mount Pyre Pier. The sign is old and worn. The words are barely legible. Ahead looms Mount Pyre. It is a natural monument to the spirits of departed Pokemon. Well, that's not disturbing or anything. Well, let's go and, I guess, pay our respects and defeat some people. Tentacool, 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 tentacool. Let's use confusion. That's what you get for being poison type, you little bitch. We have to go around the mountain multiple times until we can find a docking point. You aren't even worth killing. You're level 11. What is with the level discrepancy in the water? Oh. Uh, well, hey, we brought back... <laughs> All right, we, th I guess after Generation 2, everyone was like, hey, let's return to how things were. Did you come to pay your respect to the spirits of departed Pokemon? You must care for your Pokemon a lot. This is the final resting place of my Zigzagoon. I cherished it. If you cherished it, why did it only get to Zigzagoon and not Lanoon? Another Shuppet. I would try and catch you, but you would just go hiddledy diddly I'm a gonna curse, and you would just kill yourself. Goodbye. We can always catch you later if I so want. Ah, yes. Pay respects to the departed Pokemon that rise from their graves to haunt you. All sorts of beings wander the slopes of Mount Pier. There's no telling what ha may happen. Take this, it's for your own good. And what does that do? Let's read about it. Reading Rainbow. A hold item that helps repel wild Pokemon. Ah, interesting. I wonder what this is. Interesting music. Very interesting music. I'm going to head back in because I want to head up the stairs. Hello, Shuppet. You are level 29, so I guess you're worthy of killing. Annihilate. Discombobulate. And then discombobulate. And then discombobulate. Become Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, I want to head up. I want to head up the stairs. Unless, like, a team Aqua Diddly D are in there and they're going to be like, I'm, I'm, we're standing around. And then one day we will be gone. All right. This, the people on the first floor seemed like they were like, ah, oh, yeah, we're here to mourn Pokemon. Everybody else seems like they're ready to fucking make some more dead Pokemon. <laughs> Who is in second? We should have Striker up here. Hey, are you searching for Pokemon? You came along after me. You're rude. This is a resting place of the dead. Why do you care? Why are you dressed up in your fursuit at a graveyard? What's wrong with you? Critical head, take that. I am sorry, forgive me please. You're an unfamiliar sight. Depart before anything befalls you. I'm going to annihilate you. Oh, wait. I forget. Aren't ghost types like actually supposed to be 
good against Psychic? I forget my brain. Confusion. How dare you not die? Oh, and you can use just Confuse Ray and make them confused? You're an illegal swine! Once again, I go to change Pokemon. Instead, I go to bag in my brain. My brain. My brain. Suffer and die. That's going to make him confused too, isn't it? Why do you have two dedicated confused moves? Kill. Break through the confusion and kill. You are a horrid little spoink, aren't you? What is magic code? What does it do? Don't reflect any damage back, please. That would be rude. Mm, you're durable. You use confused moves and you're mean. You should be banned from life. And of course... Oh, for some reason I thought Luno needed healing. Why is there a fucking hole? I'm terrified! I'm gonna make you more terrified in a minute. You're obviously not so t ho terrified that you can't go into a Pokemon battle, you lunatic. Kill him! You're supposed to die in one hit, just like that, uh... Well, at least I didn't have any, uh... Items there. It was very rude to knock away my items. That I don't have. Oh, you a whore! We're here on a dare. <laughs> if I show her how cool I am, she'll fall for me. I know it. I know I'll cream you and show her how cool I am. Is that a euphemism? Also, you look like a, 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 a already a couple. Why do you care? She'll fall for me. Then why are you here hugging like you are? Kill the Del Caddy for being a... Hey, quick attack is banned in the world of the living. I will have to send you to the world of the dead. We are getting a lot of critical hits, which obviously means I'm not going to get them when I need them. Level up for Luna. And now you're confused. This is like the first time I think an enemy has gotten confused from my attacks. I feel cheated. Why can you become paralyzed from another Manetrix diddly D? At least we can skip you for now, because you leveled up. Whoopsie! I got an Ultra Ball! Let's see, who gets to go next? I guess we can put Shane next. Ouch, ouch, there are holes in the ground here and there. I didn't notice and took a tumble from the floor above. I'll just move along. Like, there has to be something at the top. Something worth it. Is that not a trainer? Or did we somehow get into a random fight before a Pokemon trainer fight? Memories of my dear Skitty. My eyes overflow thinking about it. Ah ha ha! This is no place for children, at least of all you. There are people mourning the dead. Ah, first time we've seen a Wobbuffet. I'm gonna kill you. You survived? 
How dare you survive, absorb his soul, her soul, its soul, everyone's soul. It's a graveyard. Oh, I, I, I didn't even see who you were going to send in. Now, not to. It's a bird type. Kill it anyway. Killed it anyway. The power of shame. Hey, you're gonna use a Kadabra? I'll kill you anyway. I keep going too fast. Apparently, Kadabra was, like, not allowed to show up in the anime or, like, other promotional things because a psycho magician was just like, this is Pokemon's obviously based off of me. I lost that cleanly. And it was only, like, semi-recently that he, the, the poor goddamn Kadabra has been allowed to exist in the wider Pokemon media in forever. Quit confusing me. Leave me alone, Shuppet. It would be weird if, like, you came to mourn your dead Pokemon only to, like, see, like, the ghost of your Pokemon rise as a new Pokemon and somebody else catches it. It would be a very weird experience. This, the rich atmosphere of the mountain has elevated my psychic power. A mere child like you, you dream of winning? I dream of kicking you, rats. I do enjoy the variety of... Ba -ba -ba. Of sprites for trainers. Shouldn't your routes have evolved by now? And you're going to send out another route. Shouldn't they have evolved by now, Steelwing? And Curlia, at least they're evolved by now. Kill him. Goodbye. I drown in self-pity. And I found a super repel. I am debating using it. In fact, I think I will because it's all just shop it. That is all that it is is. Where is the super repel? Super repel. It's all just goddamn shop it. Why have you come here? I don't know. It's a place where criminals have come. So I decided to climb up the tower. And you're going to have a full team, aren't you? Well, I'll have to annihilate you anyway. No living. The bitch lived. What does assist do? Kill. Break through the love and kill. Through the power of love, murder has happened. Gonna send out a low tad? I shall kill him. It is kind of interesting that, like, it, then again, it does, it's not actually that strange for them to have returned to a graveyard in a Pokemon game, because this is also the generation they remade uh, green and yellow. Well, no, not, not green and yellow. 
red and green. So I guess it shouldn't be surprising that in the same generation that they're literally revisiting Lavender Town, that they'll also make, like, an actual graveyard. I kind of like it. Makes sense. It's just odd that they return to it after Pokemon Generation 2, where they got rid of the entire Lavender Town, like, frickin' graveyard tower. So it's just kind of interesting that they actually returned to make a second graveyard tower. You're going to use a bird against me? But I am the birdman! Quick... Excuse me. Quick attack is illegal! Now die! Good, you didn't use quick attack. So you will still die. You used it once. That is a life crime. That was amazing. You're a very special trainer. I used one Pokemon. I would like to see your Pokemon when they grow up some more. Please, I need to see your Pokenav. When they grow up some more, they're all, like, fully evolved. We will heal the boy, just to be safe. As we continue up the tower. I love all things horrifying. It's like a disease. When I'm here, I shiver with fear. Well, shiver me timbers. I will take all your limbers. They have a shop it. Kill it. I'm honestly surprised you only have one shop it, considering how many you've had to have run into by now. Losing, I dislike. What are you? Yoda? My friend, Shuppet is. Well, you're obviously going to be a fighting type, so we'll let Luna have some fun. Well, what item did you find? A Grot Ball. Huzzah for Grot Ball. Teacher, please watch over my progress. Your teacher is dead, and soon shall, shall you. My brain just tricked up there for a moment. Hurry, your ball. Go back to Street Fighter 6, e Honda Psychic. Don't you dare. Fucker. Psychic! Go headbutt some people in Street Fighter 6. Teacher, please forgive me. You should have gone out all out just this once. All right, you people are weirdos. Fight me. When I'm here, a curious power flows unto me. Have you lost your bearings? Have no fear for I am here. You're not a superhero. I'm gonna throw you off this tower. And you only have one each. Well, I guess we'll deal with Wubbuffet first, and then we'll deal with Sableye. I don't know why. Wubbuffet scares me more than the other one. How dare you! You're gonna make a flinch! It's like a guaranteed flinch move. Fuck. Oh, that's bullshit, man. That's bullshit, man. Destiny Bond, how dare you? I guess we're going down. Hopefully it fails somehow. Rude. And 
I'll send out Nickel to annihilate you, I suppose. Destiny Bond is a silly move. Why? Why do you have that move? It's just a waste of time. It's just annoying. I'm going to do this. Especially because it only started to do it when I targeted it for attack. I see you, you little bastard. Well, then I guess I'll have to use a bite, even though it's not going to work as much. Oh, I thought it would work. Uh, I thought you were a dark type for some reason, not a ghost type. My brain's... No, you're... I think you're a ghost dark? I don't know. Because if you're a ghost type, dark should be super effective against you. The powers have been away. Weren't you lost? Motherfucker, you used Destiny Bond. I'm going to kill you. I lost the match, but I have this little ability without ever laying my hands on your Pokénav. Yeah! Well, that is a magic trick. Well, that is bullshit. I have to use a revive because of frickin' Destiny Bond. I guess I could have maybe taken Luna out of the fight, but I don't know. Also, it worked on both Pokemon. That's just silly. Shadow Ball. Neat. Maybe I'll teach it to, uh, Night Fang. I guess I could give that to Luna. Here, have a Soothe Bell. A Lax Incense. Called it. Sea incense. Come on, game. Let me go to my inventory. Hmm. Who should I give this to? I guess I'll give it to you. Just to give it out of my inventory. And sea incense. Wow, I wanted to read, because this looks like a different, like, grave than all the others. Let's see. A, whole, a hold item that slightly boosts water, and a hold item that slightly lowers the foe's accuracy. Hey, Nickel, we have the perfect thing for you, so that when you start double teaming, you can just piss off the enemy to no end. And now I guess we're gonna move on up. This is a very, uh, not cared for, like, uh, grave tower. Well, that out of the way. Oh, I forgot. Mount Power Mu- Mount Power. Mount Pyre music is very nice. Kind of funky. I like it. And skill swap. Yeah, m this music is bopping. <laughs> it literally is bopping. Let me guess. This is now a super graveyard full of the and this begets the enemies coming to get me. And a Max Ether. And an Ultra Ball. This is a this has to be like an offering to the like the dead here. Why am I taking them? I feel like I should save now. Just to be safe. I think I already saved, but paranoia, paranoia, everybody's coming to get me. I should probably make sure all my Pokemon are in tip-top shape. Which means... Healing a Paralyze. 
We can also get rid of this paralyzed heal out of my inventory. And use a bit of healing, just to make sure everybody's in tip-top shape. I don't think I'll need it, but hey. Never know. Let's -a go! Ha! Too bad for you! If you came earlier, you only would have had to battle the wimpy team Magma! But since you arrived now, you have to take on us toughies! And I think there's an item on that area, but uh, they'll all disappear after I beat them all. Oh, you fuck your, your goddamn fucking dark type, my <laughs> Wrong button again. Once again, brain goes to bag when I want to swap Pokemon. Striker, come forth! We have to Thunderbolt a bitch. You thought you were slick, but you're really just sick. Thunderbolt! Be gone! Uh, I should have let you take on Team Magma first. Why didn't you? I found some zinc. Some special defense up. Who needs that? Honestly, I'll give it to you. No, those Team Magma goons got here ahead of us! We can't fall behind! I'm gonna throw you off this mountain. My Pokemon knows fly now. I can totally do it. Yeah. Shouldn't your Zubat have leveled up into uh, whatever the hell the next one is? Be gone. You are a failure at life. I thought you were more well, one of the magma who happened to come back. You. We saw you at Mount Chimney. You don't belong to either team, so why would you be here? Oh, I know. You tried to join Team Magma, but they wouldn't have you. Well, don't think we'll let you join our Team Aqua. I like the framing on that one. On the team logo. You are but fools. Getting in my way. Also, why isn't your uh, Puchiana evolved? We'll annihilate that Whalmer. And whatever comes next. Huzzah! Then whatever's after the Whalmer shall be annihilated. Poor Zubat. Ah, it almost died. Silly Puchiana. Annihilate the fool. For some reason, my brain thought it would work. Nightfang, no! Um, uh, I guess double team. And then Steel Wing! Of course. And I guess Calm Mind. Use Wing Attack. Send it flying off this mountain. And who's last? A Carvana, because of course it is. Yeah, just use Double Team and Wing Attack, I guess. Kill him! And it is dead with critical hit. It 
If you're going to mess with anyone, let it be Team Magma. If you want to join Team Aqua that badly, we can consider it. I just had to beat you senseless. Team Magma's Maxi got ahead of us, but we also got what we wanted. The Red Ore, Preserved Amount Pyre. I, Archie, now have it in my possession. <laughs> now we can bring our ultimate to objective to fruition. Okay, team, we're pulling out. He didn't even want to fight. Oh no, this cannot happen. Not only the Blue Orb, but even the Red Orb has been taken. The Blue Orb and Red Orb must never be separated. They belong together. What are those men trying to do with two orbs? Oh yes, was it Team Magma who came and took the Blue Orb first? Well, in their haste, they left this behind. I couldn't imagine what exactly it could be. I would like you to have it. Perhaps it will be useful in some way. The Magma Emblem. Maybe I can use that to get into the hidden place at Mount the the volcano. Maybe. Mount Pyre is where we calm the spirits of Pokemon that have passed on. This is a high place where one can see all of Hoenn. The disembodied spirits of Pokemon must find solace here. Is it coincidence that you are here? Will you hear out my tale, a tale long told in the Hoenn region? Sure. It happened long, long ago. The world was racked by a ferocious clash between the Pokémon of the land and the Pokémon of the sea. The Pokémon of the land raised mountains and created continents. The Pokémon of the sea raised huge waves and carved out oceans. Their fierce duel raged without end. The world was engulfed in massive infernos and vicious storms. The blue orb and the red orb brought an end by the calamity. Light poured from the two orbs and becalmed the enraged adversaries. The pair made docile, dove deep into the sea, where eventually they disappeared. Sounds whack. Can't believe they let this garden get overgrown. Monsters. Granted, it's just for the shuppet, I guess. Be gone, son of a bitch. No one loves you. I guess I could kill a few. Maybe level up Luna. I won't force it, though. And now I just need to make our way down, I guess. I could use fly, couldn't I? Where can we go? I'll just head back down and we'll walk to Lily Cove. It's not that far. Plus, it just feels like it'd be more of a bother... To try and go fly back to somewhere else and get there. <gasps> a Vulpix! It's so cute! Um, please don't die? Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. It's a Vulpix! Shit. Ah, goddammit, I should have sent out Striker and paralyzed it. Also, the droning music of this place is kind of creepy. I think that Lavender Town song is a bit more creepy. Overall. But the drone is, it has a tone to it. Nobody cares, Tentacool. You are more like Tentacringe. Be gone. And now we just need to make our way. Let's see, is everyone good? Everyone good? Then we will defeat these fools. There's nothing I love more than checking out other people's Pokemon. Is that a euphemism? I want everybody to see the Pokemon I've raised. Well, surely you are the perfect match made in heaven for together. You want to show off your Pokemon. They want to see your Pokemon. It's all perfect. We will destroy your poor man and your poor Puchiana. Be gone, Makuhita.
I think I heard about, like, triple battles, and that they were, weren't were really used all that much in later games, so we can't wait to get to them. They sound interesting. Your Pujana will die soon anyway. It flinched, so it shall die. For the power of dying, you shall become gone. Not the Tropius. Not the tropiest beast. Be gone. Falter and fall. Level ups for the Luna. If it really does feel like leveling up is just like speeding up. I kind of like it. Be gone, shroomish. You shall fall. And what shall replace you? An Electrike. Shouldn't that be a Manetric by now, or is that one level off? Leave the boy alone! Oh, well, I'm trying to annihilate you, and the attack should then swap over to the Electrike if you're gone. Goodbye, Tropius. Goodbye, Electrike. Levels for everyone! Super awesome! Wow, spectacular! And I found a revive! Huzzah! That destiny bond has been resealed. Put Night Fang in front because we can. Do, 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 do. I don't care about you, shop it! I don't care about you, also why is there so many things out here? I won't fight you because I got a Pokemon trainer to fight. Hmm. I don't think it matters where I go, he'll block it no matter what. With my Pokemon, I have traveled to the, to the world's four corners. You might say I have some confidence in my abilities. I'm gonna kick your ass back to the four corners of the world. Ah, gentlemanly sprite. You have one Pokemon with you. They will die. My Minetric's more awesome than your Minetric. Die. Don't you dare paralyze him. Go again. Don't you dare paralyze him. As a... You fuck. Well, at least he leveled up, and... We can... Try a learning takedown. We'll at least take a look at it, but I think it's like a, a backlash move. Yep, a reckless attack. A horrendous accuracy, all things considered, and, uh, yeah, I don't care about it. Ah, well played. I only had one Pokemon. Well, Pokemon prowess is remarkable. Allow me to register you as a memento. Is that all that I am to you? About time, Zoom got in on the action. Oh wait, Zoom found an item. What'd that be? A grot ball. Woot. And Carbos. So somebody else can get a stat up. The speed of a Pokemon. Who needs speed the most? Give it to Zoom. So Zoom can be speedy. Can Zoom can Zoom. Remember that, like, PBS show Zoom? That was nice. I don't really remember much about Zoom. It was, like, a bunch of teens doing, like, science and, like, school project stuff. Not like that, but, like, Will you play with my delightfully pretty Pokemon? They're all gonna die. But yeah, like, basically, it's a, it was an educational show. With teens going over, like, science and... Stuff like that. I don't really remember all that much about it. It's been five billion years. It probably... It, it most definitely isn't on anymore. All of the electric types long to cause pain! This isn't what I meant! Then why did you throw it out for a Pokémon battle?
Let's see. Heels, but once again, I do not care about the label. These are wild berries. Wild berries do not come with labels. I don't even know why we would open this up. Is there a hidden item in here? We will check around. There has to be something here to open it up. Another nugget! I remember the first time that my darling Zoom brought me a nugget. My Pokemon have never tasted defeat. On their next win, I'm entering them in contests. Oh yeah, I think contests exist in this game. I haven't run into one yet. Oh boy, I can't wait for my Pokemon to become paralyzed again because of fucking contact abilities. God damn it. Why is that even a thing? That's just annoying. You attacked an enemy Pokemon. How dare you? That's illegal. Jesus fucking Christ. Critical hit. Zoom just wants to live. Ah, Shift Tree. We haven't seen you yet. Shift Tree! Go back to Pokemon Town and be scared of Skarmory or something. Or no, that was Zapdos. You were scared of Zapdos, not Skarmory. I think you refused to take on a mission that led to Skarmory. I will use my final headbutt on you to kill you. Your Swift cannot kill Zoom. How fucking dare you come close to killing Zoom. You bastard. And Zoom came close to actually leveling up. But Zoom is out of ability. Headbutt is gone. Striker, your turn. I have this routine of defeat five trainers a day. Guess what? You're number five. I'm going to destroy your routine. And you will have a breakdown and you will cry. Because you are a bastard. Stryker. Thunderbolt. Blow out his speakers. Send out your vigor off. They will die. You might be angry, but you're still going to be dead. Goodbye, vigor off. You're paralyzed. So don't move. Good. You're paralyzed, so you shouldn't move. Kill him. You bastard. How dare you heal your Pokemon? That is illegal in 50 states. Only I'm allowed to heal my Pokemon. Only me. Because I'm the protagonist. No, you're horrid. Get your ego out of your ass. That was total humiliation. I won't forget you. Hand over your Pokenav. Lola, you keep calling. Leave me alone. Especially because you're not Lola Bunny. Lily Cope City, where the land ends and sea begins. I'm gonna find, because there's one thing I want to do first. Like, I want to sail beyond the Mount Pyre because there should be a landing with a few more trainers, like where we were, blah, blah, blah. Because there was a land around where, because it's supposed to loop around is what I'm getting at, where Mount Pyre loops back into the route where we go after beating Norman. Oh, hey, a wild mighty Ena. No time to play, though. We've, we've got to go. We've got a Mount Pyre to sail past. Some trainers that we probably need to beat, probably.
I wonder why they put this tree here. <laughs> like... <laughs> I don't understand it. We'll just sail past Mount Pyre to the other side, see if there's anything there, because it should be. I completely forgot about it. But we have been... We did go quite a while without seeing a Pokemon Center, so it's understandable why we stopped after a bit. Forbidden to the faint of heart. I love grass-type Pokemon. Do you have a grass-type Pokemon? Oh, you like grass-type Pokemon too, don't you? I'm so happy you can have this. It's a token of our friendship. And what is this move? What is TM19? I check trees of grass-type Pokemon. I like, I'm like a tree doctor. All right, what's TM19? TM19, Giga Train! Recovers half the HP of the damage the move inflicts. It is a 60 power, 100 accuracy, so it might actually not be that good. But I don't use, like, Absorb all that much anyway. Let's see. Let's, so let's compare it to Absorb. Absorb? <laughs> Get rid of it. Get rid of Absorb. It is literally three times better. Literally three times better. Well, I guess we can get into a double battle. Let's see. Let's put the two level 36s together. Double battle. Mount Pyre, where the spirits of Pokemon sleep. Will your Pokemon sleep? Are you threatening to kill my Pokemon? When there are no trainers around, I let my Pokemon battle each other. I watch them. You sound like a creep. Like, sure, let your Pokemon fight each other is a fun aha, uh -huh, but, like, you like to watch them. That makes you sound weird, man. Praise the dancing Luigi that dances in Twitch chat. Get rid of the Duskull, and get rid of the Zangoose. Make them scream, especially the ghost. And shop it. Because <laughs> there's just so many, so many, so many shoppets. You cannot escape the shoppets. And you can blast him again while the other one gets blasted too. Goodbye, Zangoose. Join the ghosts. And who will be next? Surviper? Surviper. This only makes this guy even more of a creep in my eyes because he intentionally caught the two Pokemon who apparently hate each other as a species. And when there's nobody else to fight, he makes them fight and he watches. He is a weird man. And Zoom leveled up. Huzzah! Level up for Zoom. Overflowing with vitality. I kind of like your Pokemon. You stay away from my goddamn Pokemon. You stay the fuck away from my Pokemon, dude. I'm gonna double check. I'm just gonna make sure that we can fly to Lily Cove now. We can fly to Lily Cove. So we're gonna come down here and grab this Pokeball. Ding, da, da, ding, 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 ding. And, and a Super Repel. Huzzah. I wonder what random Pokemon are out here. Ah, oh, the same as always, it seems. It's running. Oh, we shall run away. Fight me! Want to determine how strong you are? I'll be the test. Is that a euphemism? 
Ah, uh, Mawile, you're in this game? I haven't run into any of you. You're a cool Pokemon. Granted, you're part steel type, so I'm uh, obligated to loathe you. Now die. Goodbye. And who next? A Rosalia. I probably should have swapped out, honestly. Ah, well, Thunderbolt. <laughs> I see you still don't have an Edgeworth Redeem. Ah, yeah, I need to do that. <laughs> the voice redeems. Where people can use channel points on Twitch. At the same time, though, Twitch is kind of going crazy, so... Eh, well, it's still something I could probably do. Just kind of sad that there isn't an equivalent for YouTube. But yeah, so I'll really need to remember to put that down. And then just, like, workshop in my head how many points I should put down for those are. But as you forget things that you meant to do, remember to stay hydrated. All right, Striker, I need you to survive. Oh, well, you got a, you got crit hit, so it, we'll go ahead and heal you up some. Now, let's use a Hyper Potion, because... I want the boy to die. It's his shining dime. Quit using magical leaves. Magic does not exist in this world. Magic is a fallacy created by Big Wizard. Woo indeed. I'm mostly just clearing out some extra trainers on the way that... We could only get to by sailing past Mount Pyre. Don't know what we'll do next. I am doing very good. I've actually felt energy today. I created a nice meal. Oh, okay, that, screw it. We are swapping up Pokemon. We are in a stalemate. But yeah, I made a nice lunch. I made some uh, brownies as a dessert. I had the energy to play Pokemon Emerald again. Pokemon Emerald's a lot of fun. It has distracted me from Breath of the Wild, which was meant to be a playthrough so I could eventually get to Tears of the Kingdom. But Pokemon Emerald is just like, oh, super fun. Just absorbed my life. Granted, I'm also super excited to eventually get to Pokemon Black and White because I just wanna. I'll throw another Hyper Potion on you. Pull it. Well, then again. Nope, we are using a Hyper Potion. The game will be rude. The game would make you miss that Thunderbolt, and then you will die, and I would be sad. Granted, this isn't a Nuzlocke or anything, but I don't know. It still hurts to see my Pokemon get KO'd in these games. But yeah, not a lot of energy, but mm, I guess a lot of energy by my standards. I also did a bit of drawing, did a bit of writing want to do more writing tonight, because I have been struck by art and writer's block for like a month. And I want to do more. More creativity. More things. More power. Level ups for everybody. You passed the flying colors. Only because I swapped out after just stubbornly. Uh, I can't believe- Oh no, Light Yagami is calling me. He's gonna kill me. Yes, yes, yes. Stock conversation. Stock conversation. Fight me. <laughs> okay, main character. But everyone should be the main character of their own lives. Just so long as they don't become Karens. You seem to have a big collection of gym badges. Let me see if you're actually worthy of those badges. What do you mean? I have the badges because I beat the gym leaders. What are you, the fucking badge police? This feels like something like a more, like an offshoot of Gary Oak would do. He'd be like, Haha, I'm the greatest trainer ever. You, you got those badges? I don't believe you. <laughs> That would actually be maybe an interesting character type in a in a Pokemon game or something. Hmm. Sent out Trap Inch. I shall kill you with shame. 
the newly evolved Sceptile will kill you. We all need a Gary in our, in our life. We, have, we need that somebody who was very antagonistic to us, but then grew as a person and becomes somebody who's just ride or die for you. Everyone needs that. And Jesus, Shane, you did not need to critical super effect of that trap inch. That poor man. But you can kill this Whalmer. I've yet to run into... What is the name? The big one. The whale float Pokemon. It is just slipping my mind. The one that is constantly shipped with Skitty because game mechanics. <laughs> Magneton, you say? Magneton, you say? We have some fun to give you, Magneton! The bastarding bitch that was my experience, the man behind Watson who killed me! The minute trick was nothing! Die! The Magneton was the main reason I floundered at Watson. I still hold that Flannery is the most monstrous so far. Like, literally. <laughs> it was like, the nose pass of the first lady was uh, the first time that one of my Pokemon got knocked out. Brawly was kind of scary. Watson stonewalled me. And then came along Flannery being like, I have taught all four of my Pokemon in a TM move. And it is essentially a one-hit KO on everyone except the grass type for some reason. These gyms have been a trip. Oh, yeah, and then I just, like, steamrolled Norman and Winona. Didn't lose to them, because, you know, that's logic. Oh, you're worthy, all right. Damn right I'm a worthy man. You are a fool. You are a tool, fool, man, foolish meme. Ah, oh, great. This is like a mini puzzle. Go different places. I'm going to go this way to fight a trainer and get a diddly. Oh, it's a double battle. Double battle time. Double battle time. Who deserves the double battle? Double battle time. They better not be a fireman. Come on, Luna. Let's give you some experience. And what do you have there, Zoom? What item diffed off down you find? Fact. Oh, I didn't sell the nuggets! I didn't sell the nuggets. I'll get rid of the burn heal because, like... My bag is already too full. Now watch... Zoom have... Watch the item that Zoom found be a burn heal. No, because if it was a burn heal, it would have, uh... uh went into the bag and stacked. X-Attack. An, an item that I don't care about anyway. Let's fight. I'll turn your lights out while I rip through this tune. I have to tell you, bird Pokemon are my obsession. Birds are cool. They're the best. It's her Torkoal that has overheat and her camera up that has attract. Nope, not an emerald. Her, uh, what was it? The, the camel had it. The slugma had it. The camera up had it. Her Torkoal had it. All of them had overheat. Every last one. It was a miracle that I got through the first two sometimes without them using overheat. And they all also had sunny day. Because it was a monster. She was overcompensating. Because in Emerald, they decided to make everything harder. <laughs> Somebody else in chat told me that. Oh, I think when I was uh, floundering against... Uh, What's his name? Uh, Watson. Because his Magneton was just kicking my ass. And they're like, yeah. They gave a bunch of the gym leaders an extra Pokemon. They gave them, they made him a bit more difficult. It was like somebody at Game Freak heard people saying, ha ha, Emerald, or like a Ruby and Sapphire are baby games. They're super easy. And they're like, oh, you think it's easy, huh? You think it's easy? I'm gonna give the flying type gym leader Earthquake! How about that? I'm still a little upset that my super effective Thunderbolt 
didn't at least two shot her like whatever the 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 evolution of Swablu that she had. He got pinned down. Yep. <laughs> the older games are more harder. I think it's a weird thing because like yellow, I don't remember being that difficult. Crystal was only really difficult once I got to red. This game has been slightly more consistent at kicking my ass. And then this, uh, we have yet to even reach Cynthia! Cynthia, the widely considered big bad boss man, I'm gonna scare the shit out of you, Monster Man champion lady. There's a goddamn Cynthia jump scare in one of these games, and I don't even know which one! Wait, hold it! I was still playing the intro! Even in defeat, bird Pokemon are cool. You stick to your uh, convictions, Birdman. The next time, lend your ears to the full tune, will ya? Obtained Revival Herb. Except my bag is too full. Oh no, Cynthia's insane, but she's mommy material. That's true. I just also realized that this game has been kicking my ass so consistently. Meanwhile, apparently one of, like, the final boss, like... A trainer battle boss of Legends Arceus, the eight Pokemon Death Rush, I beat on my first try if I remember correctly. Yet it's this game that is banging my head against a wall. So I guess that is a revival item you give to hold a Pokemon. And now we shall fly back to Lily Cove. Let us fly to Lily Cove, my dears! Swoosh! And we will heal our Pokémon, talk to people, glance around. And since we've been going for about three hours, we'll try to find a stopping point. Then again, I guess I could try and steamroll the next gym. See how things go. Although my Pokémon haven't leveled up that much, so we will probably get our asses kicked. So that really gives us the reason to try all the more. I came from Kanto. The Hoenn region is beautiful with all its water and verdant nature. Now, oh, wait a second. Could there be rare Pokemon that live only in this area? No duh, man. Also, as an IGN review once said, too much water. I don't believe that. I have hardly experienced water in this game. Have you seen that strange cave in the cove at the edge of town? I just got here, lady. No, I have not. This planet's biggest mysteries are at the bottom of the sea. Somebody said that, but I don't know. There's a deep underwater trench between Moss Deep and Sutopolis. That's what someone told me anyway. Everyone just saying, there's this thing, at least so I've heard. R granted, I do that a lot too. Except I label that my random factoid brain, where I say, I heard this. I don't remember where I heard it. I don't remember if it's true. I just heard it somewhere. Team Aqua's been training their whalemer in the cove. We sailors can't get our boats out to sea with them in the way. Then why don't you kick their ass? Pokemon Trainer Fan Club. The names of trainers are scribbled all over the sign. Oh, hey, it's an Aqua Grunt. If this whole wide world becomes ours, Team Aqua's, it will be a happier place for Pokemon too. Except for all the fire types. Everyone here, we're all huge fans of Pokemon battles. We discuss who can, uh, who we consider to be the strongest of all trainers. If you were to become famous, we might even become your fans. That's disturbing. Whatever anyone says, my favorite trainer is Duford's gym leader, Brawly. He, nah, he, I don't think he defeated me. He was still hard ass. I've been hearing things about a tough new trainer. This trainer's supposed to have been beating gym leaders. Even, do you know anything about this new trainer? Yes, it is me. <laughs> of course, I've heard of him. They are me. My favorite trainer is cool, strong, and really nice. I wish there was a trainer like that. Well, you know, can't have everything. In search of trainers. Hi, today I'm visiting an area near Route 120. We're trying to spot some up-and-coming new talent in the field. Today we turned our lens on the trainer Neon. There's something about this trainer that piqued our interest. We've battled Neon before, but we can attest that the trainer has most definitely improved from before. I knew we were onto someone special when we spotted this trainer. The best way to determine how strong a trainer is? Well, the fastest way to battle. And so we began our investigation. That's how we ended up in battle with Neon. In a dominating performance, we were flattened 
rolled up and tossed aside. You are basically just using stock footage of your words, lady. Neon is ruthlessly strong. Here's our impression after having battled our featured trainer. The combination of Grovile and the Noon was divine. The sight of them, Grovile and the Noon, selflessly supporting each other in the thick of battle. It was a marvelous sight to behold. Leaf Blade was the mo move the trainer used last in our battle. The move Leaf Blade is Grovile and the Noon's sign of friendship. After our battle, we asked Neon for a sanctioned summary. The trainer replied, Fu -fu -fu -fu. Neon's Pokemon Grovile and the Noon, and Fu -fu 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 -fu. Mm, that's deep. There's a deep significance behind that quote. It's no surprise a good trainer has good things to say. That's all for today. See you again for our next broadcast. TikTok taking over the world. Do you want to be poker friends with me? Well, we just met in a Twitch chat, so I don't know. And plus, like, making connections is difficult. I don't know. I'm bad at being social. I was taking a relaxing snooze at the seaside inn in the sound of waves when someone stole my Pokemon. Who's the abductor? Team Aqua? I is it Team Aqua? Did you call the police? Do police even exist in this world? Like, I think we only ever saw the police in, like, the first generation. We just arrived here on our honeymoon vacation. We happened to see a dragon type Pokemon flying way up in the sky. Do cool Pokemon like that live in the Hoenn region? I do not know, I've not run into them. On our honeymoon, we vowed to see as many rare Pokemon as we can, so we were delighted to see a rare Pokemon as soon as we arrived. I mean, we're totally happy. Totally. Cove Lily Ho Motel. Remember us as Cove Lily of Ho Lily Cove. That just seems like a weird name to have. Hmm, so they doubled the guests by using Pokemon as attractions? Uh, well, maybe I should make a cute Pokemon RN's mascot. I wonder if that will attract more st guests to stay with us. Oh, sorry, sorry, I was too involved in watching TV. Since the Team Aqua came to town, the tourists have been staying away. Then really, you should try- <laughs> Okay, hey, down in front, I can't see the TV. But I want to read the TV. Oh, hey, Scott, how you do? Uh, huh? Oh, sorry, sorry. I was snoozing. I came to check out this Pokemon contest thing. I have to admit, it does look quite entertaining, but uh, consider me a purist. I prefer battles and tough trainers, but that's just me. Neon, I hope you'll enjoy everything, like the gyms, contest, battle tent, the whole works. I don't mind the battle tent. I only, like, did the one. But they all seem to be very simple and similar. And besides, I need to save up my suffering for the diddly D battle tower. The contest hall, the gathering place for trainers. I guess we could try that sometime. Do you know about the machine, Berry Blender? No. It's used for making a kind of candy called Poke Block. If you give a good Poke Block to a Pokemon, its condition will improve by a lot. Ah, I think I stumbled onto a cult. When my wife gave birth to quadruplets, you bet I was shocked. But now seeing them play together, it makes me happy. Oh my, oh my, are you traveling alone? But you're so young, good for you. I'm sure my kids could learn a thing or two from you. Me, I'm a master of Pokeblocks. If I get serious just a little, why, I can con con concoct great Pokeblocks. Would you like to learn from me, a master of Pokeblocks? Oh good, you're a smart soul. This is a bit long, so listen up. Are you ready? If you uh, look at Pokeblocks, you should see that they are rated at how they feel. The lower the feel rating, the better it is. Don't forget this. A good Pokeblock has a low feel rating and a high level. A Pokemon can eat more more good Pokeblocks than ordinary ones, too. And this is important. If you want to make good, smooth Pokeblocks, use different kinds of berries. Don't be stingy. The kinds of berries affect the smoothness of Pokeblocks. And another thing, the more people of blending berries, the smoother the Pokeblocks. That's why you should talk to other people and make Pokeblocks together. That's about all you need to know about to make good Pokeblocks. If everyone had Pokemon they love, smooth Pokeblocks, and a loving family, the world would be a happier place. Don't give up, dear. I don't understand why Pokeblocks have that font. We're having multi-battles, but I know I'm going to win. We're having multi-battles, but I know I'm going to win. We're having multi-battles, but I know I'm going to win. We're having multi-battles, but I know we're going to win. They seem insane. Lily Cove City Harbor. The ferry SS title is under construction in Slateport City. Service is scheduled to begin shortly. I don't believe you. I think you're going to destroy something. Even as we grow old and wrinkled, the sea remains forever young with the vivid brilliance of life. <laughs> 
I was 60 years ago that my husband proposed to me here. The sea remains as beautiful as ever. How do you even... How do you even laugh like that? Why? Well, I, I need to go sail ship. I wonder what that is. Is it a laser beam? Where's the shop? I need to sell stuff. Oh no, Brendan, no! I just want to go to a shop! That's all that I long for! Don't fight me, Brendan! If you fight me... <laughs> I'll have Zoom in the front, just in case he sends out his... Okay. Does this place not have a shop? I don't think this place has a goddamn shop. Well, I guess I have to fly somewhere else to... Wrong button. I can't believe it. I, even even in the normal menu, my brain goes, No, don't go to Pokemon. <laughs> go someplace else to grab your Pokemon. Go to the bag. We'll sell the things I don't need, and then we'll quickly come back and beat up Brendan. Because he dares to stand there, menacingly. We've beaten him every single time, but still. You have a very bitter herb that revives a fainted Pokemon, but will make them hate you when they wake up. And I think that's all I have to sell. I have way too many things. And now I shall fly. If only I could make my Lanoon fly. You've seen a house fly. Why, well, you've even seen time fly. Now it's time to see a Lanoon fly. We shall save before we beat him because we have to. Unless he'll just not let us in or something. What even is this place that he's guarding? That the... Of course he's guarding the department store. You... Meh. Oh, hey, it's Neon. I'm running an errand for my dad. No, I'm not buying any dolls. Anyways, it's been a while. Wanna have a battle to see who's raising Pokemon better? Sure. Ah, uh, but you know I'm not going to lose to no Neon. I have literally beaten you! Every single time we have fought! From when I just had a Trico to literally like 30 minutes ago. Headbutt. Use all the magical leaf that you want. Smoke all the weed that you want. You're not going to win. My Lanoon will beat your ass. I still love the music of the rival theme. So good. You, you still haven't evolved your Combuskin? Nickel, show him the error of his ways. You poor fool. Hey, quick attack is illegal. You keep using quick attack instead of actual moves, you will fail at life. Goodbye, Combuskin. Ah, Pelipper, huh? Striker is going to love destroying you again. Like, have you even added any new Pokemon to your, like, lineup? Why protect? It makes no sense. I'm going to waste a turn. I will use protect so you cannot hit me for a single turn. You didn't need to- why is it every single time I get a critical hit it feels like it was going to die anyway? And a Lulicolo. Once again, a Nickel. Yeah, Nickel. Come in and destroy him. The big dancing mariachi man. He must falter and fall for what he's done to the land. He's so happy. He soon won't be. Goodbye. And once again, another super effective critical. The world is cruel, huh? But Nickel leveled up, so all is fine in the world. Ooh, trying to learn Aerial Ace. It is a 60 power. 
Unavoidable. It might be better than... Hmm. Unavoidable attack, 60 power. I think I'll get rid of wing attack for that. Get ready to get aerial aced. Huh, you've done a lot of raising. That stings a bit. I had a head start on you as a trainer. And your father is a professor. I, I plan on going home to Little Root. I know I'm helping out m my dad on his Pokedex. It's coming together pretty decently, so I should go show him. Neon, what are you going to do? Collect all the gym badges and take the Pokemon League challenge? Maybe I'll do that too. Well, anyway, hang in there. Ah, you weren't a, a, as much of an asshole this time. And this is just the department store. I don't think there's much to worry about in there. Yes, yes, yes. Default dialogue. Move deleter's house. Unwanted Pokemon moves deleted. Hey you, don't you go near the cave in the cove. Why? You don't need a reason why. I'm an adult, so you just have to listen to me. That is the flimsiest logic in the world. I'm gonna throw you into the ocean. Pokemon are partners to people. They aren't our tools. Unfortunately, there are some people who fail to understand that. When it goes right down to it, the same way suits suit me perfectly, a crisp breeze suits the sea. And you, a berry, suits you to a T. Why should that be so? Orenberry, you are a weird man. When it gets right down to it, it's because you're a trainer. <laughs> We've moved... More loot into our secret hideout today. Who are you? I was just talking to myself. I'm just a grunt, so I don't know what the boss is thinking. But being on Team Aqua, I know I'll get the chance to do big things. Who are you? I was just talking to myself. Everyone's talking to themselves, apparently. Hmm, you know of the peculiar cavern in this uh, cove? That had been a natural formation, but then that Team Aqua lot came along and made the renovations. They call themselves the nature-loving Team Aqua. But what they do and what they say don't match at all. Huh, what? What's that? I'm not near awake yet. You can have this. Ah, let me guess. Sleep... Either sleep talk or sleep. Uh, sleep is essential for good health. Sleep to regain health. Yep. The Snorlax move. But I'm gonna quickly check out a thing. Because we did recently get... The... Bobbity Bop. The what is it? The Magma Badge. The Magma Team Badge. So I want to see a thing. This guy, who has yet to move, I want to see if he'll be like, ah, you're, are you a member too? Oh, this boulder is shaking in response to Magma's emblem. I knew it. Well, we have a new thing to do. We want to actually do it now. I'm gonna go heal my Pokemon, and then next time we can check that out, because I knew something would happen. But, yeah. I think that'll be it for now, because we went for three hours again. We got another badge. We made story progression. We got the HM Fly. A lot of things happened. We went to another, like, graveyard, which was cool. A grave tower. And I'll quickly, as we end, we shall make our way back to the rock. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I can't wait to continue more of Pokemon Emerald. It is a very fun game. A very fun time. But if you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels. An edited content YouTube channel that, I swear, edited content is coming too soon. Neon Icy Wings on YouTube. And then, of course, the YouTube streaming channel, Neon Icy Games, where I stream to as well as put all of the streams of days past, like the Mass Effect trilogy, Korean the Forgotten Land, Pokemon Yellow Crystal, Blue Rescue Team, just a bunch of games there that I've played through that you can watch me in the past have done. And then other such things, if you want, if you prefer watching me on Twitch, then you can follow me on twitch.tv slash neonicywings, even if Twitch is doing a bunch of weird things, moving things around, and basically, basically shaking the boat a lot, rocking the boat, and making a lot of people go, oh, should I go to someplace else because Twitch is kind of going crazy? Meh, who knows? I'll stream on it until they do something that 
throws me away as well. Other such things, if you want to see art of mine, like my little character in the corner, you can see me upload stuff to my Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Inkblot, Newgrounds, just tons of places, and links to that can be found in my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicywings. Other such links in there also include my Patreon, if you long to help me survive the worlds of the evils, yes, or my writings. Because writing is fun and blah, 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 who knows? Writing is fun and I need to do more because I actually have energy now. Ah. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. And if you want... I don't even know where I was going with that. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.